Hey, Suzanne Caldera from Guaranteed Rate. I'm a mortgage originator and you may have been searching online for a travel agent or a travel company because you're planning a trip. Well, I hope you stick on here. I think you're really going to be delighted because today I'm talking to Alice and Eric Kutcher who own their own travel company. And I think you're just going to love their story and how they're a husband and wife duo that own this business. I do have to let you know that I do do mortgages. Uh, these views are Alice and Eric's, not necessarily those of guaranteed rate. And I'm gonna hop right to it and say, guys, thank you so much uh, for joining me today and for saying yes. And I wanna know why travel? Well, why don't you explain how you got started, <laughs> Allie? Well, we got started in the travel business back in 2016. Um, I was looking for something to do at home. Um, our youngest was probably about three, four years old at that time. And we were looking for something just to get me busy, get me doing something. And I came across an opportunity with a travel agency that focused at the time on Disney. That was the owner's big thing. She was funding her Disney habit, as she put it. And at the time we were going to Disney probably two times a year. At least. At least we would go once on our own as a couple, then once with the kids. And yes, we did Disney, just the two of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Disney was a passion of ours. We enjoyed it. It was a place where we'd gone a couple times. It was actually our first trip together. And one of the big things for our family trips. So um, I reached out started um, working with the company and we wanted to eventually branch out to be beyond Disney, beyond Universal, the theme parks. And we decided to run with that. We opened up our own agency this past year and we focus on everything. Um, our big passion though is we are both certified autism travel specialists. And as a result, we want our agency to focus on that. Um, we believe that we should be able to help any family plan the trip that they need and deserve. So be it if somebody's on the spectrum for autism or if they have a disability, or even if they're just a, you know, the typical in quotes, family of mom, dad, and three kids, and they're just needing to get away. Um, we looked at helping with all of that. I think it's great because you both are able to um, meld together your love of travel. I know before uh, we got recording, Eric, you were sharing how you traveled so much uh, when you were a youngster. So you got to uh, yeah. dive into that of why travel and how did that happen? Well, uh, when I was growing up, uh, my parents got divorced when I was very young and uh, my mom, who drives like Mr. Magoo, uh, <laughs> from is New from New York, <laughs> is very big into traveling. And uh, basically growing up, every summer, uh, we would go somewhere, whether it was hop in the car and drive down to Jersey or drive to Ocean City, Maryland, or uh, head down to Myrtle Beach or uh, Florida, Disney World. Uh, we even would go off to the West Coast to visit uh, my uncle who lived in Oregon. And one time we went there and decided, hey, we're on the West Coast. We've never been to Redwood Forest. Let's take a drive down there. And we drove to the Redwood Forest. At Redwood Forest, we saw that, stayed there for a day. And we're like, you know what? Instead of going all the way back up to Oregon, let's continue going down. And ended up in the San Francisco Bay Area. Got to catch a uh, San Francisco Giants and an Oakland A's game. And just experience the uh, that side of the country, which I hadn't experienced all of it at that point. Her big thing was, if it's summertime, we go somewhere. And unfortunately, she didn't like flying very much. So most of the Still time, doesn't. Still doesn't. <laughs> correct. So most of the time was dealing with her driving, uh, which 
like they say, sometimes the adventure is getting to the place it's, instead of actually at the place. That's what we did. And even when I uh, went off to college during one summer between my junior and senior year, I worked at a newspaper out in Iowa. Uh, and I had never experienced the Midwest by myself. So I decided one weekend, you know what? I'm going to drive down to Kansas City. Drove down to Kansas City, experienced some things there. Uh, and then another weekend, I said, you know what? I haven't been to Mall of America. How far away? I said, oh, six, seven hours. Okay, I can do that. And drove up and spent the weekend uh, experiencing the Twin Cities and uh, Minnesota. So uh, when I met and started dating my girlfriend at the time uh, and found out that she had a love of Disney and had never been on a plane before, I knew that our first trip had to be going down to Disney World. And that one we definitely slumped <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yep. And when we help work with a client that is planning on going to Disney, we point out the fact that we've done it all. We've gone from crashing on the couch on the love seat of a friend of ours to being in the three bedroom theme park view at Bay Lake Tower, where which is with it's faster to walk to the Magic Kingdom because it's a three minute walk than it is to take Monorail. Mm -hmm. So we've done everything in between. <laughs> And I think that that's, you know, the beauty of the beauty of you guys, as opposed to just, you know, randomly trying to plan your your trip online is that is that you get this and you have two people that I mean, Eric, I think it's in your blood, uh, the uh, the love of travel, the love of adventure, probably the love of safety with after driving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there were not many yeah. seatbelts in the 80s, but mm -hmm. and also probably being able to speak to all different wouldn't you say that you're able to speak to almost any type of client from that person that needs more budgetary stuff and mm -hmm. really trying to help them get as best of a family experience as possible and maybe knowing some of those nuances? Yes. Again, it's not just the budgetary wise. It's also we have our oldest is for lack of better terms. She's on definitely someone that's undiagnosed that's on the spectrum. And we also have my mother-in-law who has, uh, who's disabled, who's had a stroke and uh, triple bypass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we've traveled as a, as a family, this is us. And that's why we wanted to go after the uh, certified autism travel professionals yeah. because and want our agency to be focusing on including everybody uh, so that way we know that if we're talking to somebody who has a child who has autism or if we're talking to somebody who's in a wheelchair regardless of their situation this is us and this is why we're uh yeah. focus in our agency on helping everybody yeah because yeah. we've, we've taken those big family trips where we brought my mother his mother and the three kids so we've got his mother that um is you know afraid of flying and everything so we'll have her on the plane then we have my mother who needs the additional assistance um because when she had her stroke she lost um a lot of mobility on her left side which is her dominant side then we have the one child who's you know sensitive to sounds and she can't stand crowds and things like that and then we have our two younger kids who are fairly easy going one has a little bit of anxiety and the other one is he's the youngest and he's used to being just picked up and carried around and he's used to all this stuff so mm -hmm. he's you know he's the baby of the family so he's used to all that we can only imagine if somebody hasn't traveled like this or hasn't gone to places, the stress that the parents must be feeling. Because, and no offense, but mm -hmm. the mom must be going through because we typically it's the mom who's the, usually the one who has to do all the packing, the planning, the 
get, making sure they have the passports, making sure everything's dotted, all, all the I's are dotted, all the T's are crossed. And we're there to help them so that way mom can take a breath. Mom can sit there and have that moment where, you know, the kids are in the pool or the kids are running up to the castle in Disney or, you know, they're running to see Despicable Me at Universal or they're in they're at a beach in Jamaica and the kids are just running up to the ocean and she could just sit there for a moment and just look at that picturesque picture of her family as they're running down and just breathe and relax and because we've done all the heavy lifting we've gone through helped her plan exactly where everything needs to go and for some of these families it's the first trip in forever or it might be you know their annual trip or semi-annual trip that they're taking you can definitely see the the passion uh, for that and for you know, obviously your family, and thanks so much for sharing your story. I think that that's what makes you two so relatable because it's, hey, you've got a love of travel, you've got a love of your family, and you understand what it's like to deal through the whole, I'm sure I could just picture like going through the airport with, um, you know, with your mom and, and just, you know, having to be in tune to those things. How for you has that impacted you in your business? Was it something that helped you to seek out those certifications? Did you even know that those existed? When I started, no. Okay. Um, pretty much the agent, one of the things that caused, one of the multiple things that caused us yeah. to leave the agency we were with was there wasn't a lot of knowledge like that. It was, she had, the owner had Disney blinders on. This was what her passion was. This was what she wanted to do. If you want to do something else, fine. You just had to make sure you sold some Disney. And one person happened to have an autistic child and had mentioned it in a group chat. And I was like, Ooh, that sounds appealing. I did some more research, talked to a couple other agents that had gone off on their own had gotten the certification. And it just kind of snowballed from there, knowing our family, knowing how the disabilities, the anxiety, all that fun stuff that we have going on. And it just kind of snowballed from there. So for some families, it's an extra perk. Um, We have one client who her son has some sensory issues and she loves us. We happen to have met her just in passing at one event that we were doing and she loves us. (laughs) And um, she's hooked us up with other people that she's met along the way that have sensory issues with their children. they can help you. They know what they're doing. Kind of wasn't what we were looking for, but it found us and it became a kind of well-fitted shoe for passion. Yeah. And I think when you were, um, I think when you're working in your passion and really, and like you have your why, then (laughs) it becomes more of a, it's more of a vocation. It's not just your business. It's not just your job. It's like, you know, you're, you're, you're able to Uh, do what you're most uh, passionate about, uh, for sure. And I just have to say thank you guys so, so much uh, for uh, being on here. You definitely exude uh, a ton of passion for what you do. And I really enjoyed this. Thank you you so much for having us.